Now that we've learned the history of the camera obscura, let's make our own. Inventors long ago made a smaller, portable version of the camera obscura out of a box, just like you will. This is also called the pinhole camera. Now let's talk briefly about how the pinhole camera works. If it's hard to understand, don't worry. Making the camera obscura will help you understand it. The box acts as a smaller version of the dark room with a tiny hole in one side. Light will come through the hole and project an image of the outside world on a white piece of paper in the middle of the box. You will look into the box from the back and see the projected image, which will appear upside down and reversed. Ready to get started? Awesome. First, you'll need to find these items around your house. You will need an adult to help you, a box of any size, a piece of translucent white tissue paper or wax paper, a piece of cardboard that's deeper and taller than the inside of your box, a hammer, nail, scissors, pen or pencil, tape, and something to use as a straight edge. Construction paper is optional, but be sure to use a dark color. You can pause the video here while you look for them. Place your piece of cardboard in the box and measure the depth of the box. Cut out your piece of cardboard so that it slides inside the box and the box can be closed. Have an adult help you cut a square hole out of the inside of the piece of cardboard to create a frame. Cut the tissue paper or wax paper to be slightly smaller than the piece of cardboard, but larger than the hole. Tape the paper onto one side of the frame. Slide the frame into the middle of the box. If you place it closer to the side where the pinhole will be, you'll have a smaller image. My tape added some bulk, so I had to trim it a little. Tape the box shut as tightly as you can. You're trying to keep out any light from coming into the box, except for when light will come in through the pinhole. Shoe boxes work well because they don't let much light in, but you can use any kind of box. If you want, you can cover your box in cardstock. This helps block out more light if your box is thin or has more holes. This is, an also, this is also a good idea if you want to decorate your box. You can use glue or tape to cover the box in cardstock. Glue would probably look better, but I only had tape. Sometimes you just have to work with what you have. On one smaller end of the box, draw diagonal lines from each corner to make an X with a pen or pencil. Use a straight edge to help you keep the line straight. The center of the X is where your pinhole will go. Ask an adult to hammer a nail into the box to make the pinhole. If needed, you can make it a little larger with a pen or pencil, but I recommend doing that after you've had a chance to try out the pinhole camera. Flip the box over to the opposite side.
On that side, create another X using your pencil and straight edge. The center of this X will be your viewer. Ask an adult to use the scissors to cut a square shaped hole that is about two inches wide and one inch tall in the center of the X. Now you're ready to use your camera obscura. Point the pinhole side of the box toward a light. It's best to point it out a window or to go outside during the daytime. If the pinhole is small, the image will be dim but sharp. If the pinhole is a little larger, the image will be brighter but blurrier, like mine. Look inside the viewer to see the world upside down and reversed. Awesome job, now you have your own camera obscura. That was so much fun, you guys. Thank you for making a camera obscura with me. Join us again next time to learn more about the history of photography and foreign activity.